Aaron Tuttle here for Ferguson Roof Systems. For 43 years, Ferguson Roof Systems has been protecting Oklahoma's homes and businesses with quality roofing services. Their goal was to be the most honest and dependable roofing company in the state, all while providing free services such as lifetime labor warranty and annual inspections. Well, mission accomplished with thousands of client testimonials, an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, and a five-star rating on Google. Look, the weather gives you enough to worry about, so why worry about who to trust with your roof? Call Ferguson Roof Systems today or find out more at fergusonroofsystems.com. Hey everyone, meteorologist Aaron Tuttle here we're talk about the snowstorm that's moving into Oklahoma. So thanks for joining me. We're going to get right to the details here in just a second. Give a couple more seconds to get on in. Still looking at last minute data as we speak. And um, pretty cool stuff here. All right, uh, let me go here. Okay, uh, no problems with the uh, internet today. <laughs> so I'm back in my home office. So we're going to expect some heavy snow come out here across western Oklahoma. It's already kind of underway. Let's take a look at the, oh, real quick before I do that, let me, uh, you guys on Facebook, again, kind of get updated uh, from me directly when I go live, click that link I just posted, and that way you can opt in, and I'll send you a message directly to your uh, instant messenger, that way you don't miss a broadcast. Uh, if you guys on YouTube, also thanks for checking in, and Rumble, and Twitter as well, so welcome everybody. All right, let's get on with the show. First things first, outside currently. It's cold. It's cloudy. I've got 41 degrees. You're going, how is it going to snow, Aaron, at 41 degrees? That's a great question. <laughs> Normally, you would be right. How in the world could it snow at 41 degrees? Well, we got a few things that are happening, and we'll get to that here. All right, first off, I want to show you is the radar here across the uh, state. And so we're looking at um, a difference between west to east. So the west side is going to be the snow, obviously. And on the east side, and even central side, really, is the rainfall. And so you can see where that transition is occurring. And it's pretty much right along this region here, where the rain and the, uh, the green and the blue transition, right? That's the radar trying to tell you where temperatures are cold enough for these numbers to, to transition over. Now, I do have the temperatures plotted on this map, but they went haywire the last few minutes. I don't know why that is. So. That was really strange. They were working just fine. There we go. See? A little gremlin there. All right. So it's got us in the upper 30s to low 40s here in central Oklahoma. So where's that snow line? Well, it's setting up just west of Hennessy, right over O'Keen, uh, back down toward Watunga, Geary, Hinton, Binger, Carnegie, Cash, just west of Lawton, Snyder, Tipton, Altus, and then back out here in western Oklahoma. So right now, the heaviest of the snow is occurring from pretty much right along I-40, uh, south and west from Weatherford on down into this region here in this little quadrant between Hobart and Adarko. That right now is the heaviest snowfall rates so about an inch per hour. So that's going to cause some visibility issues and obviously it will uh, pick up on the roadways here at least briefly before kind of melting. Uh, so you just expect some travel issues just temporarily just take it slow. But yeah, temperatures here into the metro right now are into the 30s. Okay, so let's take a look at the big picture. Storm system is out here. This is the center of the upper level low moving through this uh, Texas panhandle this bright white you see here on the water vapor channels all the moisture being generated in the mid to upper levels and yes we are going to get some of that eventually down here it's the lower levels where we all live and breathe if you haven't had it already temperatures out there like I said are into the 30s or below out here in the panhandle so no problem with any accumulating snow in that region here in Oklahoma City the sound they launched mid-morning does show a little warm nose right here in the temperature profile but when you wet bulb that down it gets below zero degrees Celsius except for this little spot right here. But with um, continued cooling aloft, that should allow this transition to be all snow here in Oklahoma City at some point. It's, and it, it's again, south and west side of town, no problem. North and east side of town, yeah, it may go back and forth between rain and snow for a little bit longer. But right now, that's the way to look at the balloon sounding. So right now, that kind of goes to a better forecast as far as getting more of that snow to transition over from the rain. Now, if we look at the Upper levels of the atmosphere. We talk about how the storm system is going to move through. It's a quick mover, in and gone. There you see how quickly that moved through? Bam, right over there. All right, so if we take a look at kind of a snapshot in time here this afternoon from the different model outputs, they're all pretty much in the same vicinity as far as the center of where this low is going to be. So if I put the low here, uh, that was the American model. The NAM's a little to the south. Uh, the RAP model's a little bit more to the southwest. 
and the Canadians kind of a little bit more just on the west side of that position. But in general, fairly good agreement. And it's these little bursts that you see of um, colors represents really strong lift in the atmosphere that's going to help to produce those heavy bands of snow. So if you take a look at the vertical lift as far as winds precipitation is starting, the bright colors indicating a lot of the lift is occurring is already happening. Now as we go through time, it gets much stronger here across central and southern Oklahoma from around lunchtime to the afternoon, which is why I said the transition should happen about that time here in Oklahoma City. As we headed to southeast Oklahoma for the afternoon to late afternoon, and moving into Texas and Arkansas. So that's the bulk of the lift with some wraparound stuff um, happening here, the little light colors you see. So another little light burst of snow as the system moves on through. So this is, if you've been watching me the last couple of days, that's that's nothing new. That's just another, in other words, nothing's really changed. Here's a look at temperatures though. Again, we're in the 30s to low 40s now, but watch how much green over encompasses the regions we headed to the afternoon. Let me back this up a little bit. Uh, but you can notice though, the models are still struggling with the temperatures into the mid to even sometimes upper 30s. The problem with that is it's too warm. We'll end up with all rain if that were to happen. But I don't think the model has a good a sound, a good handling on what that new sounding showed us. New sounding is a couple degrees cooler, and that makes all the difference in the world. But point being is, obviously out in western Oklahoma, no issues with that, with temperatures getting below freezing. And southern Oklahoma, kind of the same deal. Kind of a borderline situation. So let's go back into the timeline here. So we've already got the snow. It's in the blue here across west central parts of the state. Rainfall down south. As we go through, step through each uh, amount of time, so we'll go to noon, for example. So there's lunchtime hour. Uh, we're starting to get that uh, changeover snow out here in Canadian County here briefly. And then about 1 o'clock, you can see how it's starting to approach the metro, at least on the south and west sides of town. So that's about the window when things should start to get at least a little exciting around here through the 2 o'clock hour. But if you do notice, that model likes to put that fine line in the sand here, splitting the county from Oklahoma from that southwest to northeast. You can see some hints of flakes that'll come in here mixed in with the rainfall, but by far and large, most of the transition of the snow at this point at two o'clock is on the south side of town and the west side of town. And that transition doesn't go too far. It stops right about Lawton, goes down around about Paoli, Pauls Valley, down toward Ada area. Uh, and that'll be the important uh, note to make when it comes to snow totals. All right, so three o'clock in the afternoon, you can see how we're still stuck in this rain snow mix here in central Oklahoma. So again, the models are having a tough time with the full transition over. And honestly, it can still go that way, although that does that morning sounding does indicate we should go over to all snow, which will allow it to at least a lightly accumulate around here. By nine o'clock, you can see how this stuff kind of wraps up there and it kind of moves out of the state, some lingering flurries, maybe around midnight hour. Up north, that's about it. So it's a very quick moving system. When you factor in just how much maybe rainfall would fall, in other words, if it was just all liquid, we're looking at anywhere from about a half inch to almost about an inch of rainfall down here across these southern parts of the state. And that nose is pretty far to the north, but you notice that there's a pretty good gradient here where you get a half inch of rain to where you get just three tenths or two tenths. Uh, and that's kind of, we have a lot more dry air in this part of the state in northeast Oklahoma. So that's going to kind of reduce your totals, including you guys in, in Tulsa. Now, just for fun, I'm going to show you just a real quick snapshot of every single model for this period. Um, so there's just to look at the idea how much of a spread you can have in snowfall forecasts. All right, there's model one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. <laughs> <laughs> you see all that nonsense? Now you try forecasting snowfall totals. They're, they're totally not helpful. Uh, the Icon model, we talked about this the last few days, kind of like it when it comes to snow. Kind of keeps that same band, a measurable snow that is, just on the southwest side of Oklahoma City, on down uh, south and east and south and west from there into western parts of the state. Doesn't quite have the totals amount correctly, but I like the placement. So here's a look at a model blend, which brings back in reality. And actually this is at a, a 10 to one, um, ratio, or actually I think it may be used in the other model version. Regardless, uh, as far as measurable snowfall goes, you can see it's going to matter from a dusting to maybe about an inch here in Oklahoma City, uh, especially north and east side of town. Possibly a little bit more on the south and west side, but better opportunity down here in this little quadrant. Again, from Lawton due east uh, to south central Oklahoma, still some flurries and measurable snow up toward McAllister. But the best, heaviest uh, measurable snow will be out here in this little pocket in western Oklahoma. Now, this is a model blend, which means you're going to have pockets where you're going to see heavier amounts in this that the models do not indicate because they can't get this convective element and lighter amounts. So the Weather Service will then kind of 
uh, draw a map which kind of blends it all and smooths it. So they give a much greater range of where you can get four to six inches of snow. Now, will everybody see four to six inches of snow? No way. Actually, the majority of people will not, but there will be pockets in here that you cannot predict that will happen, and that's what this graphic tells you. And this stretches on down south to just around the north side of Ardmore, and again, right about to Ada, and you can see Oklahoma City kind of in that area where one to maybe two inches in the southwest uh, parts of the metro area, say out toward Blanchard, News Creek, uh, excuse me, News, uh, Newcastle, and maybe even Norman, whereas the northeast side would get less and less as you travel. Uh, we'd already talked about the timing, which is currently ongoing. And if you look at uh, Tulsa, same idea, uh, best measurable snowfall will be down here across uh, southern and southeastern Oklahoma and parts of Arkansas, whereas northeast Oklahoma around Tulsa, not a whole lot. Temperatures out there, of course, cold today in the 30s and 40s. Uh, we're going to repeat that as far as temperatures go for Tuesday. Again, cold tonight and cold the next several nights. You do notice uh, temperatures quite a bit on the colder side for Friday. So there's a big front that comes in Thursday night into Friday, uh, which brings us down to some really cold numbers for over the weekend to 20s and teens out across the state. And we might even get a little skiff of snow uh, for Friday and Saturday. There are some weak indications of a little weak disturbance zipping through, which brings some flurries to maybe a light dusting for some. It's not a big deal at all. It's nothing compared to today's event. Today's will be a wet, heavy snow. Um, at, for the ratios that it's coming down at, which means for those of you folks that do get, you know, an inch or two of snow, you should be able to get a snowman out of it. It may not be the best, but, you know, and then for those they get on the lucky side from four to six, um, you guys, of course, will have no trouble. Big, thick, heavy snow, which also means that we're in that position. And let me, I'm going to pull this up while I talk about it uh, real quick. So I didn't do that a minute ago, but I would like to touch base is um, the road temperatures, right? Because that's always the big concern is what are the roads going to be like? Well, when it comes down fast and furious and heavy, well, that, that obviously, if you see that with your eyes, you're going to realize you're going to have a little brief trouble in the road, so take it slow. But in other cases, um, that warm ground temperature will kind of offset that and melt it. So let's take a look at the soil temperature, for example, at two inches down. It is into the 40s and 50s. So it will work like crazy to melt a lot of that snow that does fall. And that's why you're not going to really get a whole lot of measurable stuff in this area of the state because you're not getting enough snow to overcome the melting from below. Now at some point you get enough snow that blankets it that almost acts like an insulated layer for the top level of the snow for, to it not to melt. But you got temperatures also at the top level not quite at 32 either. So bottom line is we don't have a very good favorable environment for very good accumulating snow and for snow that lasts for a long time. Um, if we were to do the wet bulb magic temperature deal where we take the, the air temperature and we drop it down to where the dew point mix and we, we combine them in the two, so one each side meets in the middle, uh, you get dew point, uh, excuse me, wet bulb temperatures into the mid 30s where you can get a lot of that um, um, cooling processes from the column aloft you can get down into the lower 30s. So we're going to kind of struggle here. You can see already it's kind of happening in this region. but So this should be a little struggle. Right about 32, 33 degrees is a sweet spot right in here. In Oklahoma City, it's probably going to be like around 34 when that's said and done. And again, that's going to help to reduce the accumulating totals of snow. So regardless of how much falls, which it could be six inches of snow falling, right? But if only an inch um, doesn't melt, then it's kind of wasted. <laughs> but that's the way our snows go in Oklahoma. Hey, it is what it is. But the good news is it's not like you live in the north where this stuff lingers for days, weeks, or months on end or an entire season like they do in Canada. But So we like the snow that's here today, gone tomorrow. At least most of us do. Okay, so that's, that's it for me. i got to run, get back to um, what I've got to do for the afternoon. But I do want to thank you for stopping by for this lunch break. Hope it gives you all the information that you need. Be careful out there. Enjoy whatever snow you do get. And we'll keep an eye on the upcoming winter for our next big system. Meanwhile, we'll talk again later. Take care.